Peace, peace. Still touching this one, man. Peace to the subscribers, man. Sorry I haven't been around for a minute. Um, I'm going to probably do a live stream tonight. I couldn't get one out Saturday, Sunday, because I had a lot of things going on. So um, I'm going to do one tonight. So check me out on the Tonchinous News channel. The Tonchinous One News channel. That's my new channel. So I can do the um, live streams on it or whatever. But um, yeah, I'm gonna check, I want y'all to check this video out right here, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm quite sure everybody who subscribed to me probably already subscribed to Black Magic. But for some of you who not, check this video out right here with his brother um, Norris Francis right here. Um, now, I just want to just tell you that, you know, like he's not telling you that everybody was all Indians was black. He's not making. He never makes a um. Like I don't know. It, it's it. He he. His it, it, it videos is kind of weird because he's sitting there saying we, but I guess I guess his whole point of view is not trying to tell everybody that they might be Indians or you know what I'm saying or in that matter. But we all know that you know like he said and like a lot of other people say they brought less than four hundred thousand people here on the census. We start seeing towards. <laughs> Towards the 1870s, almost 8 million people hit. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I already did my research on it. I already know. I already know this this history back and forth. I, we have been telling you about the Indian slavery and all that for about a year now. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, he got some very good points. But, you know, always understand, right? Understand this, right? When they keep telling you Africans, they claim they brought 380,000 people here, right? Now, also understand this, too, that half of them Indians that they were shipping out was on the record as Africans. And this is what a lot of people is not. A lot of people don't understand it clearly. They, you know, even if you are connected to the history, because this brother got a lot of additional information in which that can help me gain some understanding. Um, you know, anytime I see one of these videos, I get some. I definitely gain some more understanding or whatever, or think of things that I didn't understand prior to that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's gonna have to come down. You're gonna have to talk to a brother who knows some of the history. Or whatever that can tell you some of the stuff that we trying to that I'm trying to connect with everything. So I'm in workings. I'm trying to get in touch with this brother. Um, I actually see him sometime because they um and where I live at they do this thing called 24 Hours of Hip Hop, and I normally see him there. And um like in North they have 24 Hours of Hip Hop. They set the street down and let um like all different like old school some new school rappers come through. Um and I normally see the brother there. Well, I normally see him when I sometime when I did used to go to the African Fest in, um, in New York or whatever though. But definitely, once I get in touch with him, see if I can get a little interview with him on whatever, just for some of the questions that I gotta ask him, cause I got different questions than what Brother Rich have to ask him. And that's you know, I'm sorry I haven't been having a lot of time to really interview a lot of people, um, or bring people onto the platform. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know, man. I kind of want to just stay away from that for now. Because um, besides me and Chief and um, Lex Vortex and, you know, some of the other, you know, some of the other um, people who, um, you know what I'm saying, who sometimes I, I hook up with or whatever. I just see it, it's like, you know, I don't know. It's just, you know, for some reason, man, I just like like to do my own thing sometimes, man. Because it's like when you hook up with people, you start getting into it. And I'm not trying, a lot of people I get along with, I don't want to have like, you know what I'm saying, no, none of these bullshit ass difference of opinions in which we start you know what i'm saying it's just a lot man but with that being said let me get to the video right all right so right now he's talking about the war bonnie and i've been telling y'all the war bonnie ain't had nothing to do with us right here in the north or the south all right the northeast or the southeast all right none none of the none of our ancestors wore the war bonnet the war bonnet is not us all right now look i'm gonna let him go on a little bit remember I am Where does that come from? Does that come from? I'm sorry. I am using fair use, brother Rich. So please do not flag me. Um, I'm using it. It says um, the infringement of copyrights is called fair use, and is all allowed for the purpose of criticism, news reporting, and teaching. I'm doing it for teaching purposes. All right, like always, because this is what I do on my channel. All right. So I'm gonna let, I'm gonna play a little bit of it. 
from your people or does that come from them a misunderstanding where, where does that come from well the war bonnets the typical war bonnets yeah. that's more of a western, that's a western plains indian thing we wore things like turkey hats uh -huh. right which were basically hats with turkey feathers we would wear elaborate pardon me elaborate type of hats with feathers in them but not like the war bonnets that's that's a completely plains indian western indian thing okay so when you see a lot of brothers with those type of headdresses on yeah they're not coming out of no real understanding of the culture they're coming from books they're right. coming from things that they read they're not coming from actual experiences that their families were a part of my family still has our turkey hats we still have our stuff is on display at the museum at um brookdale university which is located in lincroft new jersey like we can do demonstrations to show and prove for this. You know what I mean? Did we at times start to wear war bonnets or, or the, the big style ones that you see? Yes, we did because a lot of the tribes fleeing other areas came into New Jersey. And this is where you start to get the cross, the, the cross, the, you know, the, the co-mingling of, of the different indigenous cultures. So you might see some people wearing them in special occasions, but for the most part, we didn't wear all those things. That's solely a Western Plains Indian style. Teepees, that's not what we did. We had wigwams. We had earthen huts. You know what I mean? So a lot of the culture that people associate with indigenous Native American is really not the culture of the Eastern woodland. Our cultures would be similar to what you would see in West Africa, similar to what you see in the Caribbean. You know what I mean? Not the plains, Indian following the buffalo around, living in teepees. That was not our culture. Right. We lived in cities. We lived in villages. We did trade. We grew our foods. You know, we were civilized people. We didn't even have fences. You know what I mean? Like we, we uh, most of us spoke a similar dialect of Algonquin from Canada all the way down to Peru slightly different dialects this is called what algonquin so do you also you do you know how to speak any any uh well, there's certain terms that we yeah. still have you know greetings like what uh i would say uh well lagoon to walking ilam ilam kick ilam ku kick uh pukawanku ituensi takwi what i said was uh, greetings, my beloved family. I'm from the Turtle Clan. I am called Turtle. Mm -hmm. You know, so the language is still here. My cousin is actually, um, he is, uh, he's, he's learning, the, he's learning the, the Muncie dialect along with the Unani, Unami dialect. And he's studying with the Ramapo Indians who are located up in the Ramapo Mountains in Jersey. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a lot of, but it, there's a lot of fluent speakers. Do I, do I speak it fluently? No, I don't. You know what I'm saying? Am I going to learn? Obviously. But I'm more concerned. Yo, y'all check the video out. Brother Rich Show. Um, now what he was saying was, when he started talking about these little different headdresses, man, I done seen a bunch of different headdresses. Um, I, like, like you see my logo. My logo got that feather crown on it. I don't like that, that war bonnet. I never really, I already knew that from my observation, from what I seen and from my studies, that the tribes that we rock with did not wear that. You know what I'm saying? Um... But yeah, man, it's it's a lot though, man. It's a lot even when it comes to the history. Um, you still got people who's kind of like you know what I'm saying, alluding the point to tell you that um, you know it was black people here, and this is that's the reason why I don't like it because like you know sometimes you have to allude to say what did the people look like that was here, man. You know what I'm saying? We got more. We, you know what I'm saying? There's more than enough images to show you, man. I mean, like. I just, I don't know, I just keep running across more and more and more, and, um, you know, it is what it is, man, but definitely, I'm going to do a live stream tonight, and look, 